Hello and welcome to our 36 Django tutorial. Uh, please bear with me today, I'm sick as a dog, but I want to get these done so we can get the site up. Um, in today's tutorial, I would like to say it's going to be short, but it's not because I have to write HTML, but uh, it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and create a list for our newsletters for the control panel. That way we can um, see all our newsletters. Uh, so let's get started. Let's... Uh, Let's create a view first. So in your um, uh, newsletter views, sorry, newsletter views, where are we at here? We're in our views. Let's go ahead and create a new view. Uh, before we do that, we need to import uh, the paginator for Django. Uh, so we're in another core. Uh, mail. Let's go ahead and import uh, from Django dot core h e nader, and then we're going to import uh, paginator class, the empty page class, and the page not an integer nope, page not an integer class. All right. All right, now go down. We're going to create a new uh, view down here. And this view we're going to call uh, control underscore newsletter underscore list. So let's get that started. At the final function, we're going to say control uh, underscore newsletter underscore list. And this is just going to take a request. All right. Um, so the first thing we need to do is grab all our objects, right? So how do we do that? Well, we do newsletter.objects.all. So that will allow us to grab all the newsletter objects. So let's go ahead and do newsletter. And we're going to do newsletter.objects.all. All right, so now we are able to grab all the objects. Now we're going to set up our pagination, um, or the paginator, I should say, code. We did this in the tutorial section, um, but we need to do it here, too, because you're going to have more than, you know, you might have 50 newsletters, so you don't want to have to scroll through all that. So we'll go ahead and set that up. So we'll do uh, paginator is equal to uh, paginator class, which takes an argument of what objects we're taking, so newsletter. This should be uh, newsletters to be proper newsletters because we're getting a bunch of newsletters. All right. Um, and then we're going to say uh, get paginate at 10. All right. So at 10, it will go to a new page for now. We can change that to whatever you like. So page is equal to request dot get dot get. And we're going to say page. All right. Then we'll do a try statement, and our first try statement's items is equal to paginator dot page, and then page, and we're gonna have an accept clause which says page not an integer, and we're gonna say items is equal to paginator dot page one, and then accept. Uh, empty page class, and then we'll say items is equal to paginator dot page, and then page paginator again dot num pages. So we want to get how many pages there are. All right, and then I showed you guys this before. Um, what I do is uh, most of my projects is go ahead and limit it to five the expansion of the um, pagination itself because say you get thousands of newsletters then um, you would actually if we left it like this and just pass items as a context you would get you know 50 some or more depending on how you set this number um, page pagination across your page so I, I set it at five and the way to do that is We'll do index is equal to items dot number minus one. All right, uh, max underscore index is equal to 
length of paginator dot page underscore range and then we'll do start underscore index is equal to index my minus five if index is less than or greater than whatever you want to call it five else zero all right Oops. and then the next one's going to be our end index is equal to index plus five if index is less than there we go less than max underscore index uh, minus five else max index yeah it looks right all right and then we'll just do the page range is equal to paginator paginator dot page underscore range uh then we're gonna say start underscore index and then and index all right now i'm not going to explain all this because i did that in the previous tutorial back in the tutorials app so if you if you're not understanding that go back to that tutorial and go through it i want to kind of speed this up so we can get this done so let's go ahead and just create a context it's equal to uh dictionary and then we're going to pass items items and then uh page range then page range Ooh. all right and then we need to just uh do our template so template is going to be equal to um control underscore panel forward slash control underscore news letter underscore list dot html and then we need to return render request template context and if template template that is right all right cool so that's done let's go ahead and create our template so in your control panel go ahead and right click well actually let's create our url first so up in the control panel go to urls and let's just create a URL here. So we'll do URL, uh, raw string, newsletter, uh, hyphen, list. Uh, that works for me. Uh, then we're going to do, get off my screen, control, newsletter, underscore list. And we have to import that up here. So control, underscore, newsletter underscore list and we'll just pass a name as same thing we just typed so control newsletter underscore list all right comma there we go so our urls configured now um hmm let's go ahead and create our view now uh, I need to clear some of this crap that's up here. What don't we need? There we go. All right, so in our templates, control panel, right click there, and we're going to create a new view file, and we're going to call this control underscore newsletter underscore list dot HTML. So the first thing we always have to pass is the extends. So extent oops extends and it's going to be control underscore base dot html all right and while i'm typing this remember don't upload this yet because uh it's not secure so we will be doing that shortly securing it so outsiders cannot access this only uh privileged people so uh just hang on and don't throw it on Heroku because then you might come back and find out someone sent a crap load of emails. All right. So there we go. We got block content and block. Same stuff we've done before. Um, now we just got to type all this HTML out. So div class 
And we're going to do a call small niner call small uh, offset three uh, call mid Python 10 and then call mid offset two and then main close out that div and I'm getting all this from bootstrap so um uh so if you're not understanding where I'm getting that that's where I'm getting it so we're gonna create a row div class row inside this row we're gonna have a div class uh call small ten sounds good um then we're gonna have an h1 class uh, page header, and then in here we can just say all newsletters. Sound good? All right. And then div class call small two. There you go. And we're gonna create a link here. This is gonna be our submit. Our 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 link to our new um uh newsletter so we have a way to get to that so we're gonna say a href and then in here we're just gonna pass our link so our url so uh curly brace percent symbol url um then another quote and then we're gonna say control underscore panel colon and then control newsletter Quotes, close out our uh, percent symbol, our curly brace, another quote, and our a tag. And then we're going to do our button. So we're going to have button, and it's going to be type. Type is equal to button. Uh, class is btn. BTN success. And then we'll close it out and say new newsletter. And then, sorry. Yeah, there we go. So that looks right. All right. Under the row and div, let's go ahead and create a table. So we're going to do a uh, div class. Table responsive and then uh, table uh, hover. So when you hover it, it highlights it so it's easier for you to figure out where you are. Then we'll do table, table, class, table. And then in here, uh, we need a table head, so T or T head. Uh, then we need table th for table head. We're just going to have subject uh, th status th created th uh, updated. th edit and th delete. All right, under the th head, let's go ahead and create a th body or a t body, t body, and then in here we're gonna have a for statement first. So for item in items. And then go ahead and close out your N4, or your 4 with an N4. There go. And in here we'll have a table row, so TR. And then in there we'll have TD. And now we're going to pass all our variables. So for a variable, it's two curly braces. And we'll say item.subject. And then we'll do uh, 
TV again, and we'll pass curly braces, item.status, TV, uh, item.created, then item.updated. And then hold on. So we got update. Um for edit for right now we're just gonna do a H so we haven't created these pages yet, so it's kinda of hard for us to actually link them because we'll get errors, so we'll just say edit and T D <coughs> href equal to pound sign delete. Alright, so that should be good. If we have no errors, we should be good. I don't see any errors there. Open our browser. Go to your dashboard. And right after the newsletter, just put a hyphen list. L-I-S-T and we forgot something. Uh, see if it gives us an error so you guys can see what I forgot. All right, so what we forgot was adding the pagination, okay? Right? So we want to include that. So down here under this div, let's go ahead and include uh, pagination.html. Now, if you guys are bouncing around and follow along, we created this back in the tutorial section. Um, and I said to you before that we'll use this quite often. So instead of writing it every time, we just include it. So back to where we were. I had uh, I have two objects in there. So let's go ahead and change this to one so we can make sure the pagination is working. And then now my server is going to be super slow and restarting. There we go. And now we should see the pagination. There we go. All right, so we got one object, two objects, one object, two objects. And here's our button. You want to make sure that works. Cool. Uh, one last thing before I let you go. Let's go ahead and put the newsletter over here, the list. Uh, probably where nav item is. That way uh, we don't have to type in the... Um, the uh, URL every time. So go ahead and open your control base.html. Uh, let's go down to what the heck did I just say we we're going to put it? Nav item, I believe I said. All right, so curly brace, percent symbol URL. Um, in here, we're going to say control, let's go panel. Uh, that symbol I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, then we're going to do new uh, control underscore newsletter and then uh, quotes and percent symbol curly brace and end quote and then we can just put over here instead of nav items we'll just say uh, newsletters all right so let's just go back and make sure that all worked so I should be able to click on this and go to my newsletter oh newsletter list we wanted to go to so underscore list because we have a link going from the newsletters let's refresh here um newsletters to creating a newsletter right so there's no i mean you could put a link over here to create a new newsletter but that's just more work but there you go um we got our newsletters we got a link to it and newsletter so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, like button or that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next tutorial where we, uh, I don't know, we'll edit or delete one of the two and then uh, do the other one the next time. So I'll see you then.